In this module, let's explore the need and the motivation to perform network modeling and simulation. It's going to be interesting. We are going to look at the technology landscape from different stakeholders' perspective. If you look at the communication systems in general, it is evolving rapidly. We have seen the migration from 2G, 3G, 4G, and beyond. The user demands have continuously been increasing. The users have started now demanding high data rate intensive applications. The service providers are continuously seeking to satisfy the user demands by expanding their network infrastructure both in terms of coverage and data. The network researchers are facing the protocol war which necessitates the development of new techniques, architectures and capabilities. For example, we have seen Web 1.0 moving to Web 2.0. Likewise, we have seen that TCP has migrated from the rudimentary TCP to TCP Reno, TCP Teho, and TCP Vegas. The equipment vendors are struggling to release new devices, each with increased capability and complexity. The technology developers and the original equipment manufacturers are developing next generation equipment that satisfies the requirements of vendors, deployers and the users. With all this in front of us, we are going to ask fundamental questions from the eyes and ears of the stakeholders. To begin with, let's look at network developer. The network developer has a million dollar question, that is, how do I satisfy the quality of service demands of the users given that the technologies are emerging and the legacy networks cannot be uprooted in a fortnight? Similarly, the network engineers which are from the operations side are daily asking this question, what is the right approach to solve my problems? Do every time do I have to buy the devices from a company, say X, to solve my problems? Or do I replace the underlying technology from the scratch to, to the latest generation? The network architect poses questions. How do I know that this new approach is going to augment well with the existing protocols? or there is going to be some conflict of operation? And how do I build the confidence for the user in the utility of my approach without actually producing and deploying the technology altogether? Dear students, there is no single panacea. There is no single solution which can solve all these problems and satisfy all the stakeholders because the complexity and the humongousness of the network is profound. So, there are different techniques which come as per the need. For example, the closest to reality is the prototyping and empirical testing. This, however, is very costly, but it is definitely giving you minimal abstraction. The field deployment which allow you to di trial different protocols is relatively lesser expensive, but it is involving a little bit of abstraction. Modeling and simulation involves lesser costs, but increased abstraction. And finally, the analysis with minimal costs, but the maximum abstraction. With this as the canvas, we actually are going to zero on to network modeling and simulation because it is going to give us the best trade-off between cost and abstraction. 